All right guys, just playing with my TRX4 here and I want to have a little play with a shock oil. Standard, I don't know what's in there, stock shock oil, but it's really, really stiff. If someone on Facebook thinks it might be because of the heavy Land Rover body. But sort of going fast, it doesn't sort of absorb the bumps very well, it just sort of bounces all over the place. So I'm going to put some of this 100 CST in there, which is roughly about 11 weight, and see how it does before and after. And I don't want to trash this body shell yet, so I'm going to put that one on. I mean, it's sitting a bit higher, this one, than I had it last time when I first mounted it. And these black body posts don't line up anymore, because I have to turn them around to suit this body shell. So I'll put the fun clips in and just tape this bit on for now, for, just for the test. All right, let's get to it. All right, let's get these shocks off of here. Check that flex, guys, with the shocks disconnected. All right, guys, you know there's going to be a future project coming up, putting longer shocks on here, so you can get that much flex out of it. Almost get that wheel standing right up on end. That's going to need some long shocks to make that happen. Alright guys, so here's the electric screwdriver that I use, it's a Devolt 10.8 volt and um, I'll put a link in the description where you can get that from, from Amazon. Alright, so even with all the shock oil out, that's still quite tight in here with, with that um, tracks of shock oil in there so it frees it up a bit if you get some of your new shock oil put that on the o-ring in there yeah that's nice and free now right, I'll fill this up so it's just to the top of that thread roughly and then if you move the piston up and down you see those air bubbles come out And then when they're all out, as much as possible, I suppose it's not that critical really if you get a few in there. Screw that lid back on there. But what I found was, if you tighten that top cap right up, then it kind of hydrolocks the shock. So if you undo this bottom cap, just un just slacken that off a bit, and then you can see all that oil come out of there, and then screw that back down with the shaft fully compressed. Perfect. Perfect enough for me anyway. Feels much smoother. Yeah, check that out. Look, all right, let's get these shocks back on here then. Guys, that's all on there now, so we'll just give it a little blast. Definitely feels a lot softer.
guys, that is so much better. I should have done that ages ago. It jumps better, crawls better, drifts better, everything's better. So, all right guys, hope you liked that video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell button, and see you soon.